Alright, so Bull Cow, the Bulls and Cows guessing game. In this game, a somewhat advanced version of Bagels, which we already played. The idea is that the, each player, you and the computer, tries to guess a five-digit number thought up by the opposing player. A bull is scored for each correct digit in the correct position, and a cow for each correct, position, correct digit but out of position. For example, the mystery number is 51340. Your guess, 21734, scores one bull and two cows. I see, okay, so the bull is the one, because that's in the same position. And then the cows, I guess three and four, they're the right numbers, but out of position. Got it. In the first sample run, the human player's mystery number was one, two, three, four, five. In the second run, the number was one, three, five, seven, nine. Notice that on the fourth computer guess, three, five, seven, one, nine, the human player told the computer zero, comma, five, i.e. no bulls and five cows. That was incorrect. It should have been 1-4, right, okay, but the computer could not know that until two turns later when it realized that the human had given it impossible scores. By about the fourth or fifth guess, the computer starts taking quite a bit of time to narrow its choices between guesses. Be patient. And the program author is Jeff Weibel from Bradford University, Bradford, Yorkshire, England. Yeah, this is definitely, bagels was the same concept, but... Uh, with like Pico and Fermi, but that was only a three-digit number. I imagine it's going to be far more complicated with five digits, so we'll see. I do like that uh, that cow clip art there, though. Oh, let's restart our, um, not only our timer, but we should do our, um, there we go, our death counter as well. Let's go with Bull Cow. Bradford University Bulls and Cows game. All right, random seed number zero. Oops, zero. Your guess. Why does that bull have an utter? Oh, uh, because it's a cow. Remember, they're bulls and cows, so that's the cow. All right, um, so I'm guessing numbers now. I guess we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got no bulls, but we did get two cows. Why is there an S there? Okay, so two of those numbers is right. All right, now the computer's guessing. Oh, I guess we have to come up with a number, huh? For the number, why don't we just use um, three, two, seven, six, eight, which is listed here. I think that's what we'll do. All right, so your guess is 46280. So, uh, 46280. So there, that's no bulls, but you do have three cows. Well, 46280, yeah. All right, now it's our turn again. So we know that we have two cows they're not in the right spots. So let's continue to canvas the numbers, six, seven, eight, and then I'll do one, two. So we'll see how many cows we get now. Still two cows. That could either have been the six, seven, eight, or from the one, two, we don't know yet. We didn't get any bulls. All right, my guess, seven, nine, eight, four, six. Seven, nine, eight, four, and six. Okay, so that... No bulls. Seven, nine, eight, four, and six. And that's three cows again. All right. Let's try eight, six, seven, three, four. I, there's got to be like a, a good solid strategy to this, but I just don't know it yet. We'll find out. Wow, we got four cows. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So hold on, the last time, let's, before we process the computer's guess, I, I want to formulate my next guess before uh, I lose my train of thought. So we went up in cows by two, which means that three and four are definitely part of this. They're not in the right position, but they're definitely there. 
And then we can also say then that one of two of six, seven, and eight are two of those three numbers are right as well. So I think for our next guess, let's do start with three, four, and let's flip out the eight for a nine. So we'll do three, four, nine, seven, six. We'll try as our next guess. Okay. But before that, we have the computer's guess. Uh, zero, two, four, seven, nine. Zero two zero two four seven nine. So that's uh, no. so you got one bull there because the two, and then two cows. Four seven and nine. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bill McClunk. Yeah, we have to guess the five-digit number before the the computer does. All right. So we're going with 30, 4, 9, 7, 6. One bull, two cow? What? Wait a minute. Oh, I see. So three total numbers. I got it, got it, got it, got it. So. Wait a minute. So. 3, 4, 9, 7, 6. So if I had swapped out, I see. So we definitely want to bring back the eight and either drop the seven or the six. So I think for our next guess, we'll do, let's swap the four and the three. We'll do four, three. We haven't had, oh, we have had eight there before, but that's not the right position. So this the end. You know, definitely three and four is there. We got four right. Gonna drop this. Should we drop the six or the eight? Only two cows. I guess we won't know. So nine is not right. We could still swap in a zero though. Bring back the eight. Let's bring back the eight and drop the six. So let's do. Four, three, six, eight, zero. Because we haven't had the eight in the four position yet. So we'll do four, three, six, eight, zero with our next guest. Okay. Yeah, so basically if if you have if you guess the number in the right location, it's a bull. And if you guess the right number but in the wrong location, it's a cow. And by the way, so you know the the number that we're thinking of that the computer's trying to guess is is the random number C three two seven six eight. All right, so for that one, zero five seven six. So it looks like he got um, two balls because seven and six is right, and no cows because zero five and four are not right. Okay, so our guess is four three six eight zero. See how this works. Two bulls and three cows. Okay, so we have the five numbers. Three of them are in the right position. So before we respond to the computer, we might be able to get this. We have all five numbers now. We just need to get the right order. All right. So I'm willing to say, four, three, six. There, we probably make a couple of inferences here. Which number did we get right the first time? Nine, seven, six weren't in the right thing. We still got two cows and one bull. So we know it's not three, four, but could it be? Did I ever try? Okay, we know four four is not, let's take it number by number. So we know that three is not third, and we know it's not fourth, but it could be first or second. As for four, we know it's not, hang on, let's, yeah, we know fourth is not last. Same 
thing with three. Hang on, so we know I'm just gonna write this down on a, a no well, you know what? We can just why don't we just get a notepad up here? Uh for something like this, no, I wouldn't say so. I'm going to answer the computer, but before that happens, before I process his guess, I just want to formulate the next, uh, sort of our next guess. We all have all three are right. Six was not first or second. Third or fifth. The question is knowing where the bull comes in. It's like a lot of cross-referencing that needs to be done there, huh? Yeah, actually, we can use logic to figure this out. Hold on. Can we get a notepad up here? Should be able to. Let's do this. Let me do a window capture of... Um... Actually, that's the wrong one. This one. Window capture... I think running this out will like sort of help. Okay. Put this here. Enhance. All right. So we have the numbers. Um, What are the numbers? Four, three, six, eight, and zero. Okay. Zero, three, four, six, and eight. Okay, so let's start with what we know. We know three is not third. And actually, I'm just going to do five question marks for each just to determine whether or not they're possible. Like that. Okay. So we know three is not third, and we know it's not fourth. Could be second, and it maybe is first. All right, four we know is not fourth, and we know it's not last. And it could be first, or it could be second. Search me, Vivgluck. <laughs> I've never played Fallout 3. All right, and now we know uh, with eight is not first. And we know it's not third. Okay. Um, and then we have six, which we know is not first. And it could be last. It could be third. Maybe. And then finally we have zero, which we really don't know much about anything about. So this at least helps us closer to the guess. So I'm going to say this over so at least we know not to start with a six or an eight um, I think if we though if we since we know three and four so let's try zero four let's try three last and then so that means we do six there and then like that Whoops, that should be a three. We'll do three last. Because that'll at least eliminate, if it's wrong, it'll eliminate three from the end and four from the second one. I mean, I could also throw in some other numbers which I know are wrong just to help ascertain whether it's a bull or a cow. Maybe that's actually the better strat. Because we want to at least solidify a couple of the positions here. That, the computer may have even been doing that a little bit. All right, anyway. We'll go with that for now. We can always change it. I'm just worried about the computer getting it first. All right, they're going with 0, 8, 3, 9, 4. So that is 0 bulls, 8, 3, 9, 4. Okay, and they got two cows there. 
All right, so time for our guess. We're going zero four six eight three. Two bulls and three cows again. So, yeah, that doesn't tell us a whole lot. That's the problem there. Yeah, so that was a bad guess. I should have I should have subbed in some ones we knew were wrong. Really, that's really cool, Munchum. Yeah, I'm like thinking about this sort of thing for the first time, so I'm, I'm sure I've made some mistakes here. I think I have to sub in some mo some numbers that I know are wrong. Um, oh, I think the computer's thinking, by the way. All right, so for our next... Theoretically, if we swapped the three and the zero, that could be it. I'm tempted to say six and eight are good as they are, but I don't know that. Yeah, we need to swap in some bad numbers. It's going to take too long to do that, though. I'm worried about doing that. Oh, you don't remember the strategies now? Okay, so I'm not looking totally stupid here. I'm glad. How about this? If I lose the first game, you guys, let's, um, I'll accept, um, I'll accept chat's help in the second one, like guesses. I think we'll play it that way. What you guys think should be the, sort of, the right method. Yeah, the computer's still thinking, by the way. It said to be patient. I guess it's running through more possibilities or something. All right, let's try to think of what our next approach will be. We have to lock in some of these numbers, so I am tempted to say we know that four is in the first three. I'm going to try, I don't know, five, nine, six, eight, three. I'm going to swap in two bad digits and then just try to get official word on the first numbers. Let's try doing that the next time after the computer set out their moves. Which I hope which I hope happens here. All right, while we're waiting I guess I'm going to, uh, maybe we can add those, uh, the games that Aardvark told us about. The Polish games that got translated to English versions. So I actually have, um, um, there's a not playing tab list here in the document, which lists, um, these are basically either compilations of games we already have, as well as, um... Oh, get the things. Whoa, 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 whoa. You have given me impossible scores, game spoiled? So he's alleging that I didn't give him... That I didn't give him the right data? Let's check this, 79846. Maybe I did make a mistake. Seven nine eight four six. So that was seven nine eight four six. Yeah, so that's no bulls and two cows. Oh shit, I gave him three cows. Seven nine eight four six. No no that's right. Yeah, that's three bulls. Or three cows rather. Because seven, six, and eight. Okay, then he said 02479. 02479. Yeah, that's one, definitely one bull. 02479. 049. Oh, okay. I see what happened. I should have given him one bull and one cow and said I gave him two cows. Yeah, we gave him. I messed up in the response. Makes sense. Damn. All right, so it's my fault. We'll, we'll count it as a death. It's a death. Damn it. All right, you guys want to help with this one?
Live and learn, yeah, absolutely. I just I have to be because I have to like run his guess, but what the right bulls and cows are. Um, that's why that's why I was choosing to formulate our guess before we asked him. All right, so I'll take chat's help with this one. First, let's come up with a number. For the computer to be guessing. Um, so CPU, whoops, CPU will be guessing. I don't know, I'll just type in random, something random. And oh, no, it's probably not good to use the same digit. So we'll do two, three, eight, six, nine. Okay. So. For our guess, I, I guess I'll start with the same strat. Just start with five random numbers. Well, sequentially. All right, we got one bull and one cow. All right, three zero nine eight two. Well, let's first think about what we're gonna ask. I guess we'll do. Our next guess will be. One. Well. We'll do six seven one two. Nine or eight, rather. Yeah, I guess it could be clunk. I guess you could repeat, but it seems like silly for you to choose that way because that then you're giving more away. I think. All right, so he's saying three zero nine eight two. So that's definitely no bulls. Three zero nine eight two. But he did get three cows. Shit. So that was lucky for him. All right, we're gonna go with, I don't know, six, seven, one, two, eight. I can just chuck against that. No bulls and one cow. Okay, so we know we need to bring three, four, and five back. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. But I guess I should keep a running tally of what's been tried where. Yeah, I think it's still too early to make any, like, real decisive conclusions, right? Okay, then we have zero. Alright, and we've... Uh, oh, I'll put in my number guesses here ones that I have guessed. Uh, so bulls are in the correct position and cows are in the incorrect position. But they're the right number. Alright, 63218. 6, uh, oh wait, what's, what number is he guessing at? Oh, right here. 6, okay, bull, 218. So he's got one bull. Cows, he has the 6 and the and the eight. So shit, he's only... Pff, we're gonna lose this one. Because he only has to swap in one number now to get that. Damn it. Alright, our guess. It's almost better to have, like, no bulls, so that you know it's... Yeah, so you can at least totally eliminate stuff. So we know six is not here. Seven is not there. One is not third. Two is not fourth, and eight is not last. Okay. One is a cow, though, since it's in both. Yeah, or it could be the two, right? We don't know. So, the problem is, if we... I could leave out one and, and include one, but then if I change the numbers, I'm not going to know, so... Is the correct one four cows for the CPU? 30982? Oh shit, you're right. You're right, Mr. Viking. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, wait, is it? No, he guessed zero. Yeah, you're right. Only use one away. Damn it. Alright, good spot, Mr. Viking. It's our second death. 
All right, I died both times, not because the computer I guessed me, but because I gave him faulty info. Dagger, dagger. Overflow? Oh, right, I'm not allowed to go over 32,000. 767. Ugh. Actually, I think I already tried zero. Hang on. Okay. Alright. Let's just... Do, we'll, we'll be doing the same number for the computer to guess. But now all of this is moot again. Ah, yeah, see, I gotta, like, double-check these when the computer asks. Alright, so let's do the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, one bull and three cows. Okay, so we got a good first draw here. We got a good first draw. Okay, 56, 4, 90. 5, 6, 4, 9, 0. Okay, so that's definitely zero bull. The bulls are easy enough to get, but the cows can sometimes be tougher. Alright, so he hit on 6, 4, 9, and 9. So he got two cows. Four nine zero. Yeah, I'm just double checking, but I think that's right. Two three eight six nine. Yeah, you got the six and the nine. Okay. All right. So our next guess. We wow, we got four of the numbers right. So maybe we just start swapping in new numbers, or just one number rather. Let's do one, two, three, four. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's do six, one, two, three, four. No bulls and three cows. Okay, so five we know is definitely in there. That's what that tells us. And now we can definitively say that uh, six, well, six can't be a number at all, right? Because it didn't add four cows. So, six is definitely not any sort of number. So, we can totally drop that one. That's good. And with one, we know that's not second. Two is not third. Three is not fourth. And four is not last. Okay. This would actually be better on a spreadsheet. I should have done this on a spreadsheet. be easier to read properly. All right. So I think for our next guess, we're going to do, we'll cycle this through one more time, but we'll drop the six and we'll bring back the five and we'll add a new wrinkle into the mix with an uh, seven. And we'll go, we'll see if four might be the other one that's wrong. So we'll do seven, five, one, two, three. All right. As for the computer's guess, he's going eight, nine, seven, two, six. Eight, nine, seven, two, six. So that's zero bulls. And he has the eight, the six, right, and the nine. And the two. Shit, so did he get four cows just now? He's missing three to... Two, six. He's missing the three and the seven, but the other four are right. So he's got four cows there. Okay. Our guess? Seven, five, one, two, three. One bull and two cows. All right, so that tells us. Seven, five, one, two, three. So we know that seven again is not uh we know that seven is definitely not in there we also know that four is in there and we have another one well we don't exactly know about the position of the one two or threes yet okay so for the next one we're going to bring in an eight bring back the four
and we're going to drop the two like that. All right, he's going with one, two, six, eight, nine. So we know the one is wrong. Two, six, eight, nine. So he's got one bull there with the nine. Hey, Gray Mammoth. This is a uh, bull cow, which is um, basically like, uh, I guess, the game Mastermind, which I'm not familiar with. Basically, you have to get out guess the computer. You each are guessing five, a five digit number, and you get information back on how close you are. And you have to see who guesses the number first, you or the computer. Okay, so he's going one, two, six, eight, nine. So we know it's one bull with the nine. Six, eight, and two is right, and the one is wrong. So he's got one. Yeah, he's getting close. This isn't good. So he's got one bull and three cows. All right, our guess, I think we're going eight, five, four, one, two. I still need to get that last digit, see what's wrong. I mean, some of this is just a little bit of luck. We're ditching the three this time. We know five and four is in there. One bull and two cows. Okay, so we're getting closer, but so is he. So we definitely know that eight is not in there. Right, and three is in there. So we have to ditch the one and the two, one or the two. So we'll bring in the next time And it's better when we got no bulls, so we, didn't, we knew that. So we'll go nine. Actually, there might be something we'd be able to infer with the five. No, we still got one bull both times. Okay, yeah, I don't know that. So we'll go, uh, we gotta bring back the three. And we're gonna drop the two. Let's go three. Three, two, one. Oh, we already used four there. Let's go four, three, two, one. Like that. Uh, no, we have to drop a two or a one. So, I'm going to five. Five, four, three, two, like that. Oh, we've already done that. Let's go four, five, three, two. I could be optimizing this better, I have the feeling, but what can we do? All right, his guess, 18967. 18967. So he's got one bull there with the six. And then as far, as far as cows are concerned, he has the eight, he has the nine. There's no seven and no one, though. So he's got one bull and two cows. I added the eight and the cows didn't change, so eight is in it. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on, Bim Clock. You might be right here. Hang on. Yeah, I was cross-referencing as six one two three four. I should have cross-referenced your right to seven five one two three. Hang on. So we know the five is definitely in there. And we know the four is in there. Yeah, it could be the four or it could be the eight. So that's why I think I'm trying to figure out next time. But you do make the good point. We know eight is uh, eight could be there, but it might also not be. So that's what we're going to check, I guess, with the next one. All right. Meanwhile, let's just get confirmation. One, two, two, three, eight, six, nine. Two, three, eight, six, nine. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So we're going to do... Nine four five three two. Now the three or seven that replaced is there. I think we can say definitely the. Oh right, because we're comparing to one two three four five. Shit, you're right. Ah, damn it. Now, now I'm questioning everything. You're right. Yeah, I've been going off like the total numbers. I So, 
right off the sh right out of the shoot, we got four numbers right here. So I cycled out five for six, and then we we were down to three numbers right. So we know the one thing we know definitively six is definitely not in there because that's an add, which also means we know that five is definitely definitely is in there. So really, what I should be doing. Yeah. Well, they can't. Yeah, they could both be right. Eight and four could be right. And then when I cycled out the four, that could have been right. But yeah, now, now I just totally lost track of it. I should have been referencing it to that first digit. The only thing I know definitively is six is not in there. And that five is. So maybe we should go back to like, I don't know, four, three, two, six, something. Now let's see what five has to say. Do we know much about the number one? It's always been there. No bulls and three cows. Okay, I like getting no bulls because at least it tells us, it gives us a little bit more information. So I'm gonna swap the eight and the seven we don't definitively know. Okay, so now we know that the five is not third. Four is not second, nine is not first, and two is not last. Okay, we may be able to knock out some other possibilities here. So, um, and originally we were told one, two, three, four. So we know two is not the last. And when it was fourth, we did get one bull. No, it's not last, huh? There's one bull up there. Yeah, there's just a lot of cross referencing. It's just tough. All right, yeah. See, now he's guessing two digits because he's trying to knock out. That's a good. He's probably eliminated, or he knows eight is there. Interesting. So eight and six, he's got two bulls, and yeah, I think he's very, he's probably very close. He's got two bulls, and I guess two cows, because the eight counts as a cow, the second eight. Yeah, anyone have any ideas for our ne what our next guess should be? Three cows. Oh, wait a minute, this is actually interesting. If it's three cows, we know one is definitely in there. We know five is definitely in there. Um, and because nine and eight didn't add anything, we know, so basically when we took out the one here, we took out a cow, but we also added a cow because we ended up with three total so i think nine is definitely in there i think one five and nine are definitely in in the mix can we say the same thing about two we haven't tried zero yet so we might want to do that Um, that's right. Yep, that's right, Mochum. That's right. I think definitively we can say five, five is definitely in it, because we went from net four to net three when we took out the five. So five is in there. Um, one is in there because, why is one in there? Well, let's see, hang on. Nine is in there because we went from three to three when we... We took away the one, which, yeah, so actually that depends on the one. So why do we know that one is in there? I don't, do we know that one is in there? I guess we went from three to three when... Hmm. Well, these were all constants. Five, four, and two. I think one and nine are in there. 
So I think we can throw in a zero for good measure. And then it would either be the three or the two. That's the question. Well, we know, yeah, two isn't last. So let's try two, zero, like that. Seem good. Close enough. I think the computer's gonna beat us though. Why is this showing up over here? There we go. No bulls and three cows. Meh. Oh, actually that's good information. So I think the three and four are in there. It was two uh it was either the two or the one that's wrong. Do I use Linux? No, I don't. I'm just on a standard Windows 10. Okay, the computer's gonna take a while, but um, five one nine three four could be the right digits. Uh, our, okay, the good news is we got no bulls, so that actually helps us eliminate. All right, I already used one there. Zero is definitely not last, and two is not fourth. Right. I don't think two is in there at all. Five nine. So hold on. I'm not. This isn't the order, but I just want to type them out. Five one nine three four could be the digits. If that's the case, let's try putting five second. And we haven't tried two first yet, so let's do... Oh, wait, no, I don't want to at all. Three and four. Let's go four first. Four, five. One, nine, three. Okay, he came back with his guess. What did I get for seven, five, one, two, three? Is it... Do we still have it? Yeah, I got a bull. So that could have been the one or the three. We haven't done one last, so let's do... I'm going to swap those. Okay. Two, three, eight, six, nine. Ah, oh, fuck, he got it. Damn it. Well, that's it. He got he got all bulls. Two, three, eight, six, nine. I win. His number was three, five, zero, four, one. Ah, okay. So I had the wrong assumption about the nine somehow. Three five zero four one. Damn it, that's really bad. <laughs> we have the lead with four right numbers out of the shoot. So it was the zero, not the nine. I was right that the two wasn't there, but came to that realization too late. Crap. Can I guess three five zero four one? Oh, okay, it just starts again. It's kind of cool. Five is more likely to be second because of all of your bullet answers. Yeah, I did arrive on that. And I did have the... I was poised to have the one as the last guess. Damn. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there a better... There has to be a better method of doing this, but it, it, it does seem tough. Just resetting all this. Yeah, that's true. I, I, the problem is I wish there was a scroll bar so we could scroll back and see what all of the answers were, responses were. That'd be so much nicer. All right, what do we want to come up with as the number? Actually, I'm going to restart this. It's not fair because the computer just came up with the, something. Okay. Um, all right. So, what do we want to come up with the computer to guess? Uh, I don't know. Nine zero one three five. Type in something random. Okay. Thanks much. I appreciate it. All right. Let's do one two three four five just to get us started. 
All right, we got we got three cows and no bulls. Actually, should I switch to the spreadsheet? Let's switch to the spreadsheet. That might be better. Just because we can see it a little bit easier down the rows. We did this for bingo earlier. Ah, uh, but it was in a different thing, okay. Comp got three cows. Thanks, Bim. Okay. One second, I'm just getting set up with a Google sheet here. No, just add a new tab. Yeah, delete that sheet. Okay. So, that was your through and five. I'm gonna capture this, but I'm just getting the format down first. Actually, I'm going to move that. Well, yeah, I can do it. All right. One, two, three, four. Zero. And then we'll do like... One, two, three, four, five across the top. For each of the positions. Um... we're going to want to do the um, numbers we're guessing below that. So yeah, you know what, I probably should keep a log too of what the results were for each of our guesses. Here will be our. These will be the guesses that we make, and then I can we can type in the bull cow things there below. Okay. And then nine zero one three five is what the computer is guessing. Okay, so we said the computer got three cows. Ah, uh, damn, and zero bulls. Right. I don't want that. bit of window management here. Alright. Zero, three. He got the, um, the nine, the zero, and the one. Alright, our guess. So we got three cows the first time at... Oh, I, let's... We know that one is... Two is not second. Three is not third. Four is... Not, and five is not fifth. Okay. All right, our guess. See, the last time I just flipped out, well, I guess it was one number, but might be a little harder this way. Let's try uh, two, three, one, six, seven. Oh, and I should say down here, zero and five. Zero and five was what we were, or no, zero and three was what we got returned. Oh yeah, that was the way you did it? Cool. Alright, so next up we're doing two, three, one, six, seven. Actually, you know, I don't know if this is the best way because we can't keep those bulls as a control, or the cows as, you know, maybe I should only change one digit here. 
think I should only change one digit. Let's do two, three, one, five, and then a six. So we're taking out the four. Well, to make it easier on ourselves, let's do two, three, four, five, six. Change one time. Zero bulls and two cows. Okay, so this helps us a little bit here. Okay, three is not second, four is not third. And then six is not there. Yeah, so we know that six is not in it because it didn't add, and then that which also tells us it also tells us that one is in there. So if we have a possibility of one, we're gonna throw that in there. So we know one is in the number and we know that six is not in there. So for the next guess, I think we add the one back in. Let's try to get the one second. We'll move three up to the first position and we will drop Last time we dropped one, uh, we're gonna drop six and let's drop five. We'll have four be the end. I'm actually wondering whether we should use six, we should intentionally include six as a control. One is not in the ones digit. I'm Marietta, thank you for the auto host. Yeah, I'm saying, so this basically means that the number one is not in the first position. That's basically the way I have that set up. Make sure I can make it smaller. So I think we should try this, employ the same strategy. If we know that six isn't there, maybe we should keep six in. We definitely want to find out where one is though, so I'm going to put one second. Uh, we want to bring four, so let's dump. Maybe we dump two. Yeah, let's dump two. And then we have five third and four. Well, this six, five, uh, four last. So we know that six is not in there. We know that one is not there. This is why I'm trying to provide a control against this. Core tube, thank you for the host. From the game explosion. How's it going, Core? Welcome, everyone. This is uh, Video Game Origins. We're playing. We started from the beginning of commercial video game history in 1971, and we're working our way through all arcade, console, and computer games. This is a early basic game from 1973 called Bull Cow. It's like, kind of like Mastermind. You have to guess five-digit number before the computer guesses your five-digit number. How's it going, Cor? Which, um, for those who don't know here, Cor is doing now doing sort of effectively a sixth-generation video game challenge so he's doing all um, original xbox ps2 gamecube and uh game boy advance right game boy advance to games where are you playing tonight core okay, so i think we want to do three five six four because this would tell me i would expect at most actually this isn't good because i'm not mixing in a new digit If I did something like seven, four, but then I wouldn't know whether it was the seven or the four, so I think we do need to keep the six in there. Gotta keep the six in play. We're playing Shining Force Neo. Ah, okay, so we're same depth, 15, nice. Wait, is Dreamcast included in that ge generation?
Wait, is it? No, it's not, is it? Actually, I guess it was. Was it released? 90... Oh, it is in the generation, okay. I always get confused because the Saturn was like kind of released but then quickly forgotten about it, so I never... So I guess the Saturn is like the N64 PS1 generation. Got it. Okay. So you're doing Xbox, PS2, GameCube, yeah, Dreamcast. Okay, yeah, you list them all there. Awesome. I missed that one. So I guess we could try 31564. I mean, it's gonna... Yeah, I guess because it gives us control from 02. So we know what we have and we know what we don't. The question is whether we work in a new number or not. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. All right. So let's evaluate the computer's guess now. They did 4 through 290, which Bim Clunk said was 3 cows and no bulls. 90135, yeah, definitely no bulls. As for cows, uh, yeah, they got the 3 right and the 0 right. And the 9 right. Yep, so I think you're right. 0, 3. All right, so our guess, three, three and five, six, four. I don't know if this is really the right strat or whether I should be mixing in a new number or not, but. Interesting enough, you can see his strat, he kind of, uh, he also got the same first guess, and he, he kept in the zero, the nine, and the four. So he kept in three numbers and then swapped out two more. Interesting. Ha, <laughs> thanks much. Or are you believing core, maybe? One bull and one cow. Okay, so I think that actually was useful information. What that tells us is... Uh, well, actually, is that useful information? So the six we kept constant. We brought the four back. So we knew the four is definitely... Uh, well, no, we don't know that. I both of you guys. Okay, so we know that six is. De we know that six will. We already knew that six definitely wasn't in there. Three, one, five, six, four. So basically, I ditched the two and I brought back the four. Right, right. Yeah, maybe that wasn't the best bet. Although we'll have to verify whether or not two and four is both in there or not. Alma Theta! Thanks very much for the follow! Welcome to uh, Video Game Orders and the DOS Adventure Quest. Happy to have you aboard! Yeah, earlier today we uh, earlier this evening we beat Space Quest 4. Yeah, I think by the way this is probably going to be the last game. It's approaching midnight, so this will be the last uh, last basic game. I mean, we beat two blackjack games and uh, Gotcha uh, from, from Atari. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Mr. Viking. I'm not holding up well with this one. Well, part of the problem was I threw away two of the games from um, from giving the computer incorrect information, which was the problem. All right, so anyway, I think what I want to do is test both the four and the two in there. And then also keep the six. So if we do something like six, four, two, but we also want to try the one. What if I did six, one, four, two, three? Do we know there is a two? Because we dropped it. Well, only if we know there's definitely a four. Uh, yeah, that's. A, I mean, I was. I was wondering whether we could assume that both four and two are both in there, right? That's what I was trying to figure out. Whether four and we could consider four and two both in there. 
because when we we ditched the one and we went down one. I mean, the one is definitely in there. Are two and four the others? We kept the three and didn't gain anything. Okay, if there's no six, we know. Th yeah, we definitely know there's no six. And there is a one. Yeah, we know there is a one, you're right. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. So here we had six and one. Oh, and I should scroll, move this down. So if we know there's a six and a one, or I'm sorry, what was the response we got back? One bull and one cow? Oh, I haven't submitted the guess yet. Hold on. I haven't submitted the guess. So three, five, and four, one of those is definitely right. Yeah. Wait, hang on one second. This thing crashed. Well, it didn't crash. I think it just ran out. Okay. Yeah, probably it's not helpful to play like a logic game like this late at night too. It doesn't help. Yeah, so because of my first guess, we know that three of them are in there. I see what you're saying, yeah. And because we know that one and six, and one is not in there, then three of them are right. So two of three, five, and four are in it. Then one was there. Okay, right. And we know that one was there. Right, so we know that two of three, five, and four are in there. So how do we test that properly for the next time, next one out? I'm going to guess maybe one... Well, we're going to leave one second do that. So if we do 5, 3, 5, 1, 3, let's do 4, 1, 3, 5, 7. Two is in there. Yeah, because we dropped one. We just don't know whether which number it is in here. We can try using Roth, thank you for the office. Hang on one second. Okay. This actually is not gonna help us. We don't want to do that. Let me just follow your logic here. If one is there and three, four, or five is in there, two has to be the other cow. Correct, correct. Yes, yes, okay. Yep, I got you. I got you. So we definitely want to feature one there, and we also know we got a bull the first time. So, and then so its question is whether four or five is in there, and then also six. Oh well, we know six is not. So I guess we could try for a new one like seven and drop. Have we we haven't dropped a three yet, have we? We have. So we could try something like this. Um, Alright, let's evaluate what the computer said. Seven, five, nine, four, nine. Zero bowls. Yeah, see, he's doing doubling up numbers, which is good because then you're eliminating possibilities. Um, as for cows, you got two cows in there. Five. Or no, three cows, rather. He's got the five and the nine twice. Alright, I think we should actually use the six to our advantage to decide whether that last one is a three or a five. So if we did something like Yeah, we want oh, because we got three the first time, I see. So we know now it's one of one of three, four, five. Okay, got it. So I think if we use six twice, and then yeah, the four. Let's try that. Four and two, six, six. Because that will first it'll yeah validate a couple of things for us. Let's try that. So we should get at least. 
two, maybe three. Repeated digits not allowed? Oh. Alright. Thought they were at first I thought he was saying like I couldn't use two digits in the sequence. So if that's not allowed. Uh already used four there and here. Yeah, I guess I could retest that. Nah, I don't want to do that. Do two. I'll do one, two, and then put a six here. Or six, one, two, six. What the hell? He's allowed to do it, but we're not allowed to do it. Oh, that's bullshit. So he's not—he's not allowing me to do that. That is utter bullshit. He guessed seven nine four five nine four nine, but I'm not allowed to put in two digits. And I wanted a control there. That really sucks. All right, we'll have to throw in a seven. Let's see what happens. That really blows. Okay, no bulls and three cows. All right. So what does that tell us? We know that. Two is not there. We know that one is not third. Okay. We know that, well, obviously, we knew about six already. We know that four is not there. So, yeah, we either know that. What was the response I got? Zero and three. I'm gonna move this up. See better. So yeah, either a four or seven is in there. That's correct because we, we ended up with three total. All right. Anything else we can glean from this one? Went up from three, and we added in what digits did we add? Two. Well, we already knew that two was there, so that was expected. Which number did we drop? We dropped five. Actually, what I'll do is put underlines for if we definitely know it's there instead of the O's, because the O's matches with the X too much. So the underlining underscore means we need to try. We need to try that slot, or it could be that slot. All right, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out about whether the five there. We have anything? Yeah, this is one and two. So I think we should try maybe. We should just try, like, this. So I think we should try something like five. We'll drop the four and just to see if seven is the right answer. Five, six, two, one, seven. Alright, his guess was 04505. Five. It's bullshit, he's allowed to use two of them. Alright, he definitely has one bull. Zero, four, two, zero, five. Yeah, one bull. The five is a cow. The zero is a cow. I used two zeros. Man, he's not only repeating it, he used two sets of repeaters. So he's falling by totally different rules. That is bullshit. Wow. That is really something. Got three cows. Ugh. All right, five, six, two, one, seven. Two bulls and two cows. Okay, we're getting closer here. Two bulls and two cows. So, what did we change? We added in the five. So we know we now know that the five is definitely in there. The five is definitely in there. Two and two. 
Okay. Put down on space there. Yeah, and then the seven remained constant. So yeah, we do know that's in there as well. And we know the one and the two are. So we have four of the five digits. <laughs> well, when you're playing against the computer and the computer gets to play under a different set of rules, that's, uh, that is pretty big. Right, and I think, yeah, you're right. We can eliminate... Uh, we, know, we already knew that 6 was not. And then if we know that 1, 2, 5, and 7 are there and we never got... Can we eliminate 3 and 4? Yeah, because I went up 1 when we got rid of 4, so that's true. And by a similar token, compare 3, 1, 5, 6, 4... Right, yeah, because 3 from that prior, yes, we know that was not in there as well. Okay, so we're, get, we're getting close. Um, so for the next one, and we have two of them that are this, that were bulls. Is it worth checking those? I mean, we know that we're good with one, two, five, seven. So these are the four numbers we know are good. We just need to check a fourth number, which, I mean, there's no difference between eight, nine, and zero may as well be the same. So now the question is what order do we feature them in? We don't want one and two first. So that doesn't tell us anything new. So it looks like, according to our chart here, we should try maybe 1, 2 at the end. Let's see how that works with 2. And then 5 and 7. Wait, 7... Should be in the middle. Because we earlier featured 7 here, and it was not oh, right. Okay. We'll do that. 5, 8, 7, 1, 2. Although this is not terribly different. I'm just wondering what it's going to get back to us. No, it's actually not a bad one. Let's try that. Alright, meanwhile, computer's guess. 3, 4, 4, 5, 1. So he's got 0 bowls. He's got 1 cow, 2 cows, 3 cows. go. One bull and four cows. Okay, so we got the last number, so we know, obviously, that nine and zero are not in there. And one bull. Damn, so it would have been a lot better if we had zero bulls, so we could have eliminated some stuff. But actually, there is a couple things we could Oh my god, he's damn close. So, he guessed 90513, so I need to probably get in. If not the next guess, the one after that. I don't have much time left. Yeah, we don't have much time left here. Let me turn down that. It's kind of loud. Okay. Especially when I'm trying to think here. Alright, so, 2 and 2. What was the response? It was 1 and 4. Okay. So either the 1 is... The 1 could be right, or the 5 could be right. Or neither of them are right, was right, and the, the 7 was right. Shit, so I think I... I had the right combination of digits. Or, I'm sorry, I had the right set of digits, I just didn't... I didn't really put them in the, an order that was helpful. So almost it kind of makes sense to maybe... Because I don't know if I can have any more X's here. So we got one and four. Fuck. I don't know if anyone has any ideas on that. I don't know if I can... 
X off anything more here. Seven, not second. Could even be the eight. Yeah, it really could be anything, I think. So another way to do this though is this is risky because he's so close, but we could do something like one, two, because we know those are wrong. So that give us some controls. Five one two seven eight. That's actually an interesting idea, because yeah, you know what? Two is probably not the end, that's a good point. So two is probably in the middle, that's right. Th I mean third. Yeah, we'll give it a go. That I mean that would assume that five was one of the bulls. We haven't tried one there yet. And two, yeah, that would at least be able to sort of retroactively eliminate some stuff. Yeah, that's a that's a good bet. I like it, Silo, I like it. Hey, Tristan. Let's try with five one two seven eight. Redo from start no. Oh shit, he asked for his score. Oh no. Ah. 90513. I think it probably crashed it. If I can get the number seed, we should be okay. We can go back and find out what the number seed I entered here was. Might have been 90. Oh, I hope I really didn't crash this from the beginning. That would suck. Alright, let me try to process. I don't know if. Redo from start seems like it's starting the game over. Fuck. Alright, nine zero, that's two bulls, five one and three. Two bulls and three cows. Okay. Is it still Okay, that means us redoing the Hey Mantis! Okay, good, I'm glad. I'm glad. I thought it was means like we were starting the game over again. Alright, cool. Five one two seven eight. Five bulls! Yes, yes. All right, there we go. We did it. Yeah, so it took, it took over an hour, but uh, we got there. Three deaths, two of which were completely avoidable. So we found the magic number. Five, one, two, seven, and eight. <laughs> Nicely done, everybody. And with that said, that that puts an end to Bull Cow Wow, which is infinitely more uh, difficult. I mean, not infinitely, exponentially. I think probably literally, right? When we did Bagels, which was the the same game but with three numbers instead of five. I mean, you can arrive at the correct solution so much faster. Uh, so doing it five as well. So the one thing I'm curious to find out about this game is. Like, there's got to be, like, an optimal way to go about this. Like, a pattern, of which I'm wondering whether the computer was actually programmed to do. That would be sort of my parting question, if you will. And then you'd basically have to play a perfect game against the computer, so I don't know if that is the case, but 